Hi everybody, we got a beautiful question. Let me write the question down. M and N are two points on the side PQ and PR of a triangle PQR respectively. such that M N R Q is a trapezium and we've been given that M N is to Q R is in the ratio of 2 is to 5 we are expected to find the ratio of the area of the triangle PMN to the area of the trapezium MNRQ. This is the question that's been given. Now, if we were to draw the triangle, the triangle looks of this form. So you've got P there, Q, R, you have two points, M and N, this is M, this is N, and this is the trapezium, M, N, R, Q is the trapezium. We are expected to find the area, the ratio of the area of the triangle, P, M, N, to the trapezium, M, N, R, Q, so that's required. Now. Let me give you the solution. I hope you all would have got the solution. If not, you can just check it out with the ones that I'm giving. Now, upon observation, you can state it. Upon observation, what do you see that? We see that MN is parallel to QR and MNRQ is a trapezium. So this would mean triangle PMN is similar to triangle PQR. So that's a important observation that we will have to make. Now it is given that MN is to QR. MN is to QR is in the ratio of 2 is to 5. And that triangle PMN is similar to triangle PQR. So what does that mean? This would mean the heights will also be in the ratio. The heights of triangle PMN and triangle PQR will also be in the ratio of 2 is to 5. So therefore we are expected to find the area, the ratio of the area of triangle PMN to the area of the trapezium MNRQ is equal to area of the triangle PMN. You can easily obtain that. Now, area of MNRQ, what is that? That's nothing but if I were to take consider the entire area, area of triangle PQR, from PQR I'm taking away the top portion, so minus area of PMN. So this is equal to area of PMN. So what is the area of PMN? That's nothing but half into base into weight. So if my base 
is say some x units then this is going to be 2x units right base into height because we have been given the ratio is 2 is to 5 so mn is the base here right mn is a base and the height will also be in that 2x in this case if I'm taking x to be the base and uh, y to be the height, then it's going to be 2x times 2y. Or if I take base to be a some b units, then the base would be 2b. Right? So this is going to be 2 times b. If this is the representation I'm taking, multiplied with the height, the height would be 2 times h. Because this is the ratio we got for mn. That's a value we have got. So this is going to be two times of h. So I'm taking the standard representation of b and h. So this is divided by one over two times the area of triangle P Q R. The base will be five times b and the height will be five times h minus the area of P M L. We have already got it. That's going to be one over two, two times b times 2 times h so 2 and 2 can be cancelled so this is equal to 2 times b into h divided by I can take 1 over 2 out and if I were to take 1 over 2 out this is going to be 5b times 5 is even that can be taken out so this is going to be 5 into 5 25 minus 2 into 2 4 let me place that b into h outside so b into h so b gets cancelled with the b here h gets cancelled with the h here right so if i were to flip this out to the numerator that's going to be 2 into 2 divided by 25 minus 4 that's going to be 21 so this is going to be 4 over 21 so this is the solution. The ratio of the area of the triangle PMN to the trapezium MNRQ is given to be as 4 over 21. This is a competitive exam question and I hope you enjoyed this. Until we meet again, enjoy your day. Thank you.